Sounds, I'm Scott Pipigani on the inside rail, followed by Tessa Dimmitt in second. In the green is S&M Express and Little Badger on the outside, all bunched up on that first turn. Indeed, as they go into that first turn, and all six within a few lengths of each other, and it's on Scoppy Bikuni on, on the front end, has lead by three open lengths. It's Tizza Dimmitt in pursuit in second, SM Express, mid-flight mid in third, then about uh, uh, four more lengths back to Grizzly Mountain in fourth, and then the back couple horses, River Roads is in second last, and at the back there is Little Badger, as we get ready to make the first of three all-important exchanges here in this heat at Emerald Downs. As they come in for the first exchange, that's Terrence Berderadler's team, and I'm Scott P. Begunny looking to make the lead or the exchange there early, and they do off and running on the exchange. I'm Scott P. Begunny, followed by S&M Express of Upsaliga Nation. There's Grizzly Mountain right there as they make their way out. Indeed, I'm Scoppy Picani has the lead, and the lead's by about uh, five lengths, but uh, Tizza Dimmitt is making a little bit of a rally on the outside in second, and then it's uh, many lengths back to Grizzly Mountain, who races in third. Little Badger is in fourth as they come through the stretch here, and it's I'm Scoppy Picani, the one to catch, has the lead, but closely pursued by Tizza Dimmitt, who's up the inside in second as we get ready for another exchange here in this heat. As the young rider makes his way, Vincent Berthelsen, 16 years of age, looking to get it done, having some trouble on his exchange, but he's on as they make their way off and running. As Tissa Dimmitt makes the lead change on the exchange, followed by Umskopi Picani in second. Following that is River Road in third, Grizzly Mountain right there. We have loose horses on the track. As we may have the leader change, Tissa Dimmitt followed by Umskopi Picani. Big lead change there on that exchange, and it's Tizza Dimmitt who's on top. The lead's by about seven lengths. Um, Scoppy Picani is wide on the course in second. River Road starting to get involved from the back of the pack in third, and then a few more lengths back to Grizzly Mountain in fourth as they get ready to come back for the final exchange in the back stretch. It's uh, Tizza Dimmitt who's the one to catch in this final exchange coming up momentarily. As we get a good look on the back stretch, River Road coming in hard. Tessa Dimmitt was gearing down as they make a smooth exchange on the back side. River Road came in hot, looking to make a move as Tessa Dimmitt is in the lead, making their way. River Road appears to take over the lead there, followed by Tessa Dimmitt. River Road in the red colors. Ward by the rider has a lead by about three lengths over Tizza Dimmitt, who's now challenging on the outside in second. Many lengths back to the others as we've got two horses side by side as they reach the top of the stretch. And it's Tizza Dimmitt who sticks the head in front. River Road battling on towards the inside second. These two have got it to themselves as they got a final furlong to go. And it's Tizza Dimmitt with the lead by about a length. River Road not giving up, up the inside second, 16th to go. Tizza Dimmitt, River Road is persistent up the inside. River Road, Tizza Dimmitt, Tizza Dimmitt. I believe gets there over River Road. Many lengths back to the others. It's Grizzly Mountain who will get third, and then it's Amskapi Picani and SM Express. Friends, good evening. Once again, here we are in the winner's circle with our final heat winner as we make our way to Championship Sunday of the Munkleshoot Gold Cup. Here at Emerald Downs, we're standing here with our final heat winner coming to us from the Showband Nation. This is Azari Kobe. Azari Kobe made a, made a strong running here in this race. Azari Kobe, you just won the third heat. How does it feel? Tell us about it, how you feel right now. Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, it was fun, yeah. All right, Azari. Azari, as we watched, this was the tightest race as you guys started out on that first term. You guys were all bottlenecked up. Tell us how you made the move on that first exchange on the back. Uh, I just tried to take it easy because I was in the first hole and um, I didn't want to get hit 
coming out, but yeah. After that, after that first exchange, you came in, and it was you and Amskapi Bigani battling, and Amskapi Bigani had a little problems on that exchange. You seemed to make a flawless exchange on there, and that's where you begin to go. Tell us about that exchange in front of the grandstand. Uh, my horse is moving a bit, but uh, I just kind of swung on and was hoping for the best. That was really good. As we watched you come to the winner's circle and the winner's line cross the finish line first. It was close at the end, but good job, Azari. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good job to the Showband Nation. Yeah.